Hello there folks, well, <laughs> what a crazy, crazy game that was at Villa Park. Aston Villa 7, Liverpool 2. I mean, this is just a quick reaction and also a throw ahead to what Villa could potentially do this year. By the way, thanks so much for joining the channel. Um, hit the like, subscribe button, the usual mumbo jumbo, and also comment in the section below. Uh, whatever that is. Uh, yeah, if you feel if you feel like uh, you have something to say about this crazy, crazy time. Seven goals to two. Seven to... I, I, I'll tell you something. I, I'll be honest. I switched off maybe like half an hour in the second half. And um, <laughs> seven to finished. Absolutely mad. Absolutely mad. I, I, it was just... Yeah. What a point to just turn off and just catch up again. Wow. I thought 6-1 United losing to Spurs earlier on was bad enough. What a stupendous weekend. Aston Villa though, I mean this is a team that avoided relegation by one point last year. They beat the champions, emphatically beat the champions. I mean Jurgen Klopp was sort of, so sort of like um, sanguine about it after. He was just like, you know, I, I know a lot about football, but I can't stop everything. And that is just, it was, it was, it was incredible. It was incredible. Ollie Watkins, what a signing it seems to be for them, for Villa. 30 plus million for, for a guy from Brentford who was prolific in the championship. Really good business by the look of things. Um, you know that someone like that is hungry for it, don't you? Hungry for the glory, hungry for to prove himself. Um, and you've got also, I, again, I'm, I'm slightly biased here, but Emiliano Martinez, the goalkeeper from Arsenal that they bought. Um, being an Arsenal fan, of course, like I was sad to see him go, but what a, what a goalkeeper, what, what, a, what a great signing he is. 20 plus million again for him, but Worth every penny. Worth every penny. Their defence isn't. Their defence is decent too. I mean, Tyrone Mings, Ezri Concert, they're, they're they're good players. You know, they're, they're solid players. Um, they might not be the most um, you know imposing or or um, you know dominant like Van Dijk say or like a Laporte. You know, it's it's yeah they're different players, but they seem to gel well together. And Dean Smith, I mean, what great manager, isn't he? You know, you want him to do well. He's, you know, he's had a lot of tragedy recently with. Uh, to do with his parents over the, the lockdown period and you know you want the guy to do well you know he's a boyhood Villa fan I think it you know it's, it's nice seeing I mean Villa's the nearest big club to where I'm from originally uh, in the Midlands it's nice to see a team like Villa doing so well but the question is now they've got 100% record so far anyway at the time of recording this um, can they go on and actually maybe threaten to do something this year is it is it too early to say I know it's three games in four games in whatever but jeez what do you think? Can Villa can Villa do it? Can Villa do something this year? Something, win something perhaps. Um, maybe the FA Cup. Maybe maybe like I don't know. Dare to dream, isn't it? If you're a Villa fan or if you like Villa as a club, obviously you know I've grown up having a lot of uh, Villa fans around me where I grew up and stuff, and it was just it's nice to see um, Villa doing well for a change. They're due a bit of success. They're a big club. They are a big club. Don't care what anyone says. They are a big club, and you know obviously. Biggest club in the Midlands, effectively. Leicester fans might disagree, but um, you know, if you look at the history of the club, they've they've done well in Europe. Um, they've they, in the 90s they were you know threatening at the top of the table. Uh, it's nice to see Villa doing well again. Um, and Jack Grealish, Jesus, I mean that uh, what a performance from Jack Grealish. Um, yeah, wow, you know, two goals and three assists, just. Phenomenal. It's. I think it's proving to be a seemingly wise decision to stay at Villa and commit a bit more of a long-term future for, for the moment anyway at the club. I think going to United would have been a bad move on his part. Um, he, he needs maybe a couple more years at Villa to prove himself and then who knows, an even bigger club might come along and, and, um, and snap him up. But yeah, I think, yeah, what a performance. Just great to see, great to see. Got homegrown players in that Villa squad too. Uh, let me know what you think. Can Villa do something this year? Uh, who's your favourite Villa player as well? I think, you know, Grealish is obviously the headline, isn't he? But Emi Martinez for me. Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I will see you again next time.